The Skunkworks Org, operating out of Ambitious Dream Station at Crusader L1 The Grange Point, has grown substantially in the past few weeks, and as we've seen in recent videos, our fleet has become organised, with several distinct battle groups operating in different time zones. We recently added an Australian battle group to the fleet as well, meaning we are now established to cater to members worldwide. But with the fast growth of the org, it has become necessary to create a formal pathway for new recruits to travel in order to move into the fleet or fighter command and take a billet on a Skunkworks vessel. To that end, an academy has been established, headed up by the Secretary General of Skunkworks, Marcuccio. With the commitment and work of an entire dedicated team, the academy has now been stood up and is now the first post of call for those wishing to join the Skunkworks fleet. I am thankful to have such a dedicated team of staff and members to make such plans a reality so quickly. Within the Academy, new members can learn the basics of the game, skills relevant to crewing a ship such as piloting or gunnery, communications and operating procedures, the ethos of Skunkworks, and the various roles that we have available in the Org. Once graduated from the Academy, one becomes a skunk able to join the fleet and take up duty aboard a Skunkworks vessel, or even captain a ship of their own and receive an assigned crew. And even in the short time since becoming fully operational, the hard-working instructors of the fleet and Mark Hucho himself have already delivered their first round of graduates to the fleet, ready to further Skunkworks' interest in the Stanton system and eventually beyond. Cadets, Cadets. it is a fine day indeed. You have moved far above and beyond average citizens. You have developed keen senses and a fearless attitude. You have demonstrated fierceness and loyalty to our people and to our cause. May your path lead you to action and glory, riches and victory. Wear your stripes proudly, graduates, for you are skunks. Progression within the Org is relatively simple. You are assigned a job on a fleet vessel, usually a gunner, and from there you can transfer to any available position you would like. But even we at the top of this command structure have to go where we are needed, and with a new branch being established, I would be leaving the fleet and handing command of the Greg Burton to Marcuccio, as he assumed control of Battle Group Daymar. There was still time before the changes were official though, and so I would be taking the ship out on a final patrol, keen to ensure that the crew were in the best possible shape before Mercutio took command. Outstanding. Looks like you're good. Yeah. Look good. Muke and Sean was coming aboard in a slightly different logistics vessel this time around, but for patrolling Yellow's Rings this would not be a concern. I would spend the patrol giving our pilot Radchak pointers on manoeuvring. He has come a long way in his journey as a pilot, and I have no doubt in my mind he will continue to be a dedicated student of large ship combat going forward, already having developed a solid sense of controlling the ship's inertia when in combat, always giving everything he has, and we had this one last dance in the fire together as a crew. Current speed, Rad? 610. Again, we'll flip and burn when we get a little bit closer. Um, about probably about 10k away. Contact confirmed. Good work, outstanding. You want to start down with thrust, pull back on the acceleration and start down with thrusting. Same, good work. Good work. Yeah, amazing guys, amazing. Good contact. And as the target started pouring in, I would offer what instruction I could. Use down with thrust, not don't need, don't worry about forward thrust all that much, just keep on that down with thrust. That's okay. Shields hit. Okay, you need to stop rotating us around so much, right? Like rolling yeah. is rolling is not helping, but we just need to get some downward thrust in one direction. Give it a bit of forward to kick slap motion. Just a little, just a little. That's it. Aim towards target. Yeah, you got him. Good work, guys. Good work. 
Yeah, the, the idea is we're going to try and orbit a target, and then when, with the rolling, it's like we're changing the thrust vector all the time. We're going to slow moving targets like the hammerhead. We want to like roll as little as possible and keep like a perpendicular vector of motion to the target. They are going to pass us because they're much faster, so we need to we need to like anticipate the fact that their flyby is going to go right past us as they're approaching. That's it, right? That's it. Good work. It's a good angle. It's a good angle. Okay, guys. Nose down a little bit for top turret solution. Yes, good work, guys. Wow. First pass. Twelve o'clock. Okay, we'll shield is down. Good, we're I'm down three is down. I think we should pull back that shield's recharge if we can. We're very low forward to us, like keep the downward there, but give it a bit of forward as well. Shields are holding, front shield's getting a bit low. There's a little bit of extra power to forward shield. So it down a bit, it down at all. Yeah. Outstanding, good work guys. Good work. I think I'm using head tracking. So the thing is, half the time I'm, I'm kind of got my head up, I'm looking and I'm not realising that I'm, my nose is, is, is kind of too high or too low. For orbital combat, as I'm going to call it, like like what, what we used to do in AXI uh, in Elite and what big ships really need to do in this game to avoid fire, you really want to be looking forward most of the time. Like even if you're not looking at the target, like we can direct you to the target, but like it's really helpful for the pilots who have a really, really fixed view, fixed idea of, of yeah. the motion of the ship and, and where, where exactly it's pointing at. I will certainly miss stepping aboard the Greg Burton as its captain, but I am to lead the new branch of the orb, and so the hallowed name falls back to the fleet to make the best use of it they can. We get a final send off from my time on the ship, however, as Admiral Cam Gardner commander of Battlegroup Antares, was taking the ship out to eliminate some extremely tough targets. All the Battlegroups have their own flavour, and I can safely say that Antares are the capital ship killers, taking out stolen Idris at very frequent intervals. I would join the crew under the command of Admiral Gardner as a gunner, and have one final adventure with the Burton. Alright, let's let's get a mission. Let's, let's, let's make a little bit of cash, huh? And en route, we get a very nice view of Yola's rings as we pass by. I'm sharing the mission. I invited uh, Quantum and Polymer too because they're the two skunks coming in to help us out. Now, as I said, Battlegroup Antares are very experienced at hunting Idris, and so not only were several of the ships from the BG joining us, but a briefing for torpedo bombers was given. So, when you're dropping these torps, you need to drop it at an optimal distance of 1700 meters per second while going, well, 1700 meters while going towards your target. Uh, yeah, like, 2,000 meters from neutral, uh, so if you're standing still, that yeah. is the optimal range and distance because the time it takes for, for it to reach its target, the target will not have time to flare. Okay. Yeah, we got this. Press F4 so I don't black out. There we go. It was time to head in and face down a stolen address. Okay. Stay All still. Right. And break, break, break. We will be the last one into the fight for obvious reasons. It looks like he is outside of the belt though, so that's gonna be good for us. Approach to the target was careful as the Idris Railgun could eliminate a ship like the Carrack in a single shot. Fighters and torpedo bombers led the way, and the Idris was not alone. Hey level, we got an we got a an eclipse here. We do. Alright, I'm coming up. Oh, railgun round coming towards Carrick. Yeah, he missed. Just flew by me. Oh that looked cool. Yeah, it looks cool until it's you it's shooting at. 
Oh my god, the cross section is so small. Put it on him. Getting close now. Jesus yep, Christ. we're gonna do a pass, and I'm gonna uncouple and try to burn us around without killing us. So here we go. That is one thing about this ship that kind of upsets me, is it has no reserve on its motor at all. It just oh flared. Goodness. God, you fly like a whale, girl. He's already <laughs> fucked, though. You guys have hit him pretty fucking hard. He's red on the hull. He's full shields on my end. Yeah, somebody. So I'm saying somebody came in this fight earlier and fucked him up. Just slightly He's, out of range. I got you. We should be in range now. What there you go, you guns. Do your things. Do your things. Do your things. Oh, from behind. Go. Yeah, he's, he's adjusting to us though. I'm gonna try to keep above him. Sorry, bottom gun. Sorry, I'm. Oh, the sun. Okay, nice. One more size nine, and he should be done. Typhoon away. Hey, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Hey. Oh no! Reckless, you okay? Oh god! Oh god! There he goes. Stay hey, above. Him. Stay above. Him. Stay above. Him. I, I, I just saw that. that in. Your old gun just barely missed me, man. Roger that. That's so scary. Yo, the way to keep guns on target is to not I'm trying, man. <laughs> the shields are getting thumped. So I'm gonna try to keep us out of here. There we go. Yeah. Nice flying, dude. That is how right. we fucking That's do what I'm it. About. That is an Idris murdered. <laughs> no, an Idris kill alone would have satisfied me as a final mission aboard the Burton. But this is Battle Group Antares here. And this is what they do. A second stolen Idris was reported. And we were soon on the hunt again. Oh, oh, we're all wow. together. Oh my god, that looks so great. What happens is, is some some ships are going to be faster. So like that retaliator is going to get there faster than we are. Go. He yep. is not hurt, so this is going to be a fight. I'm gonna keep his attention. You guys uh, do your thing. But without the ability to survive, yeah. I have no major. I have no major fucking um. Well, there we go. Decoy at all. Oh shit. I'm way too close to Sidrus and I don't like it. Get this fuck out of here. He's tracking me, so I get out of Yeah, he's worried about that retaliator. How many torpedoes do we have left charging. available? Uh, if you guys can save the person's ass, I'd appreciate it. Port side is charging. Roger that. Port side is back up. No, port side is charging. Alright, firing last one. Shit, dude, oh, no, no, no. Nice All fucking right, hit. I think one. I just hit a rock. I think I just hit a rock. Alright. I'll just uh, stick around and draw some fire. We didn't take a lot of damage. Look at the. Uh... Yeah, yeah our, our shields are fine still. He's. Alright. Oh, Sivan, Sivan, are you refilling right now? Yep. Alright, cool. Alright, I'll, I'll go back in. Uh, I'm gonna draw fire more. and put some fire on him while his shields are down, but I will go hide us behind a rock when I have to. Because. All fighters are currently down. Do you want to stick around and draw some of that fire? Uh, if you want, Honestly, so Cyvan yeah, can get back here. here so Cyvan can get back here and um, put that la his torpedoes in. That way yep. we always yeah, have to go after that place. Yep, I'll stick around. I'm out. I don't know. The dress is almost dead. Yeah, we got yeah, it fucked. It's, 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 it's pretty messed. We're taking some hits there there it is. Is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Two down. Oh, Outstanding. Oh, wow. Good. That's how we do it in Antares. These interests don't stand a chance. Nice. Our our front our front gate is, is now messed up. <laughs> <laughs> but that's two interests. That's two interests in a half hour. Damn. I like it. <laughs> yeah, two interests like in a half hour. I am extremely proud we have built such a fleet to support Skunkworks' goals. With leaders like Admiral Gardner and all our battle group commanders and ship captains maintaining a state of readiness for when the jump gates open and expeditions to Pyro can get underway. For now though, Admiral Gardner will return to the command ship of battle group Antares, the Odysseus, and Marcuccio would soon take up the command of the Greg Burton. I have absolute confidence in his ability as a captain and a skunk. This isn't the end of the video, but I'm going to thank all of you for watching now and thank my amazing patrons who can be seen on screen right now. Today I would especially like to thank Polzano Reeve, Artax, Joshua Bostrom, Razamoon, Kevin Lee, Elliot Madsen and Gavin Hull.
who recently became supporters of this channel over on Patreon. As you know, it takes a very long time to edit these videos together, and Patreon support is what allows me to commit that time. Thank you all for your very generous support of the channel. You guys are what makes this possible. And for me and the Skunkworks Org, a new assignment awaits. Both a new home and a new challenge. With SOPs already being tested and preparations for the standing up of a new branch underway. And I thought I'd give you a preview of what is to come right now. Two, one, jump one, in. and jump. I'm clear, I'm clear. Three, two, one, run, 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 jump, going, jump, going, jump. Going, going, going. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm close, I'm close. Going right. Contact. Good work, yeah. Wow. Oh shit, he didn't go down. One down. Going low. Still one more there, one more there. Contact right. down. Moving right. I see him. He's down, he's down. Oh, you got I another one? I saw okay, someone up there anyway. Oh yeah, movement, movement there. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Thank you. Two of them right by here. Right, one time. <laughs> Back with the KAM, I'm moving down. Contact. Contact down. Yeah, yeah it's still. Contact. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. I'm alive. You're alive. Look at that. There, there's still missiles coming at me. Oh, he's shooting at me. Oh, shooting <laughs> up. This first part here is I think. 